and welcome back. So today I'm going to do like a talking through tutorial using the blue and green and possibly the yellow shades in my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. So pretty much I have used every shade in here at one point or another except for those three. I have swatched them uh, but I've never actually really used them on my face. So I thought I would sit down today and uh, do that with you guys and just film this. I've got so many videos I want to film. I sat down last night and actually made a huge list of all types of videos, but I still want some makeup tutorials and get ready with me's and stuff thrown out through the middle. So um, I've got my whole setup here today and I just thought I'd use those colors because I was looking through my palettes and trying to think of colors and stuff I haven't used much. And that was one that has popped up. So I thought, I'm just making sure my lash glue is still good. Um, so I well, I just thought, you know, why not? Um, I've got plenty of palettes, plenty of time to where I can sit down and eventually just do everything. Also in today's video, I will be testing the Morphe makeup sponge. This is already wet. The one thing I have to say that's very important with using Jeffree Star eyeshadows or this palette, I have I don't have any other Jeffree Star palettes. I only have that one. The thing that's most important is not setting my primer. The reason why I got this was from I got this palette from a friend um, because what she got it for a gift for Christmas birthday something, and she was giving it like selling it because she said it never ever stayed on her eyes. She'd put it on and it would fade and I bought it and the same thing happened to me and I thought that is so strange. I have never had eyeshadows wear off me in the past few years. Like since I started wearing like proper eye primers and stuff I have not had products wear off on me like that. I mean like two hours later my eyeshadow was gone. I realized do not set your eye primer. All my other eyeshadows are totally fine and stay on my eyes, but Jeffree Star, for some reason, I cannot set my primer or they will just wear off. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I haven't used this in so long. The reason why I did not get rid of this is, for example, like these shimmery shades in this Jeffree Star palette, this brush is amazing for like packing those shimmery shades on, but at the moment, I'm going to be using it to pack the shade splash all over my lid so this is good for like just packing any shade on your lid shimmery shades in particular but this matte shade I'm just going to pack this all over my eyelid just at this moment not blending it out I'm just putting the pigment down at this very moment and that bit of fallout that's probably not this palette it's probably this brush plus me uh, this is why I do my eyes first with any any bright color I know I haven't blended it out but like look how amazing that color is I don't normally do these like green I don't normally use any like green eyeshadow colors like I know this is a very blue green but I don't use these colors like at all because I have green eyes um, and I prefer to like use shades that like um, you know blend better with my eyes but I find these green shades make my eyes look like honey almost so to blend that shade out I'm going to take the shade Submerge, which is the matte blue, with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm going to blend that out. Not necessarily making it so it looks blue blue, but just helping it blend out because this green shade, or green shades like this, can tend to just blend out a little bit strange. So I'm putting the shade down into my crease as well just to help it blend. I can add, I can always add more colour, but I cannot take it away.
So my camera stopped recording and I wasn't sure like where it was up to but I just fixed up adding some more of the green shade to my lid and I did end up grabbing the um, crease blending brush and just blended a bit in the crease because I kind of want it to look like it's the one colour but not really if that makes sense. Just because sometimes these teal shades and I did notice when I was putting it on my lid can blend out a little bit grey green. And particularly on this like around this area on this eye it was looking like that so I just wanted to use the blue like just make it fade a little bit more but have it be majority of the teal shade so I just got a little bit more moisturizer because that um, wiped all my moisturizer away and under my eyes was super dry and I just knew that was going to be a absolute disaster okay so I have quite a few primers well, not quite a few, but I have a few primers, and I don't really think primer does anything, but I want to just start and use them up. So I'm going to use this OXX Matte Mineral Primer. This actually is my favourite silicone primer that I've ever tried. It still doesn't do anything amazing, amazing for my makeup. No primer really does, except for like the ones I use in the winter that like just help soften and moisturise my skin. So I just want to start and use them up. So before I put my foundation on, I am going to actually uh, just put a bit of concealer over this. I meant to grab my colour corrector, but I forgot. So I'm just going to use a bit of concealer. This is just the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. And use the Morphe sponge just to blend a bit of that in. So I can just conceal a bit first. The rest of my face I don't have to worry about. I just wanted to add... A little bit of something over that to start off with personally for me when I'm doing super bright colors I like to use a full coverage foundation so I'm using the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour foundation I'm just trying to use some of these foundations up I do like this um, I'm just trying to use up this particular bottle because I've had some of these for so long it's like ridiculous and I want to use them up before like they go off. I mean, I do like this foundation. It doesn't last too, too long on my skin. Because it's like a bit more of a... I describe this as a matte serum foundation. So it definitely is like super creamy. Really nice. As you can see, it does have fairly decent coverage. It looks beautiful on my face. I can guarantee every time I use this it's going to look nice. Sponge is so dense. This is the denser, I think this is the most dense sponge I've ever used in my life. I thought my Eco Tool sponge was dense, but this is like next level. Because I have full coverage on my face, I want full coverage under my eyes. So I am just going to actually use a little bit more of that Maybelline concealer there, the sides of my chin, um, and maybe just over a couple of these spots. This one is the Super Stay Concealer in the shade number two. I thought I'd picked it up in number one when I bought it, but I mustn't have. Um, if not, that'd be great. But I am going to mix it in with a bit of my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in fair beige just for under my eyes. I'm going to set it and I'm trying my Real Techniques contour brush again to see if this is nice for under my eyes again. I feel like sometimes using the dense brushes is why nothing ever looked nice under my eyes and on my face. Like yes it was great for making everything last but like not for making everything look good if that makes sense. Now for the rest of my face I'm just going to try my Savvy by Designer Brands translucent powder just to set my face and I'm going to use my Real Techniques big powder brush. I'm going to try and go back to using this. Maybe some of my more dense found my more dewy foundations that don't set I might need to use you know um, my denser brushes for but at the moment I'm trying to see if I can just you know 
use some of my other brushes that I stopped using. So if I can find where I've put my Rimmel brow kit I will do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay so my brows are on and it was a little bit difficult to do because I have so much powder on and like the gel's kind of drying out. Um, but I used my Rimmel Brow This Way brow kit. If the gel dries out too much I'll just use the powder. Um, and I tried my Tarte brush. I'm not as fussed on using the Tarte brush. I kind of don't get, I kind of get like the big thick higher brows with it. As opposed to my Anastasia one. The bristles on this one are longer. My Anastasia one, they're smaller. And I just touched it. I might finish off my eyes before I do my the rest of my face. So, if I can find a my bigger pencil brush. And I'm going to use the shade Quench, which is the yellow shade. I was going to do all blue and green. But I feel like that's a bit too much. And I might just... I just want to use the yellow because I haven't really used that one either. lash line bit might actually fade a little bit because I did set my concealer but it's only for this video if I wanted this to really last I probably would do this and then set my concealer I should do a whole yellow look one day that'd be really good I'm just going to get a tiny little bit with this this is the real techniques I think it's called the detail brush when I got my real techniques brushes I never looked after them so like the rubbers are wearing off the writing has come off and it's bad but I'm just going to grab like the tiniest little bit of I might I might use a little bit of the warmer shade just here um, called kumquat and just press that into my lashes I'll mix kumquat with a bit of drizzle which is like the really dark brown in the palette and I'm just going to press that into my actual lashes. There we go. So you can't even really tell it's there. It's just like literally color in my lashes a little bit. Just I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. Just a line on my lashes. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. But it's just because I'm going to put lashes on. And I like to just have a little bit of a small um, bit of eyeliner there just to, just to help. There we go. It looks a little bit messy. I think this is actually starting to dry out a little bit. Um, this is not my favourite liquid liner, but I just wanted to use it up um, while I had it. But I think it's starting to dry out a little bit, but that's fine. It just, just added a little bit. I got a little bit there, but I'm going to have to wait for it to dry before I cover it up. On my inner corner, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Maybelline powder that I used. Use the Maybelline City Bronzer that I have. This one is in Medium Cool. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Complexion Brush for this. blush I couldn't think of one I wanted to do but I didn't want to use like a bright shimmery one so I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me blush. This one is the rose shade? Pink rose. And I'm just going to apply like a really little bit. So I'm, like this is a fairly sheer as well which is another reason why I chose it. And I'm using my like other blush brush. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution one. This has been the only highlighter I have used since I tried it. And this is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, but it is so huge. I can't use it for eyeshadow at all, except for like just to set my lid. And I just use my like under eye brush for that. Um, and it's too small for me to use on my face. Like it might be good for foundation around the sides of my nose, but like my sponge does that. So I'm just using it for highlighter. Um, just to give my other brushes that I've used for months and months and months and months straight a bit of a break. Oh, that's too much on the end of my nose, but 
Who cares? I'm just going to blend it out a little bit though. This highlighter is a little tad too dark for me. But, I mean, if I wanted to use this a little bit more sheer, I will use my other brush because this is quite a dense brush. Uh, this does pack the highlighter on. Um, but I just wanted to be glowy today. This is why I did not want a shimmery blush. If I'm using one of my really shimmery blushes, I won't actually really use a... Um, what's it called? I won't really use a highlighter. Gara. I'm just going to apply a little bit because I'm just planning on wearing lashes and I'm not going to use my high-end ones I'll just use my Maybelline Colossal one because I haven't used another high-end product today except for my eye primer okie dokie so my SD card was full I'm very sorry guys um, I bought a 64 gig SD card that's supposed to go in my dash cam um, but apparently my dash cam can only use up to a 32 gig so if it didn't if it doesn't work for my dash cam then I will have another SD card for my camera. The other one I have in here is only a 16 gig, so a 64 one would be amazing. Anyway, um, while it was transferring, I had put my mascara on. I did my lashes. I don't like doing my lashes on camera just because um, I, well this time particularly because I needed to try a new pair, uh, use a new pair. So these are just the cheap ones from Wish. I probably should have used my ones that are a little bit more dramatic because honestly these don't look as suitable for this look. Um, I probably should have used a little bit more dramatic ones but they're on and I'm not changing them now. I put the Colourpop cream gel liner on my lower lash line. I'm on waterline sorry. This is the shade Swerve which is the black one. It's really not that black. It almost looks blue but it glides on so like easily and nicely that I, I almost would bypass that. super easy glides on nicely matte but not like horribly matte I honestly would use this shade on its own except I just want to put a little bit of my Sephora lipstick in the color tan lines I think it is um, just over the top there we go just because I have such dramatic eyes I feel like I need a little bit of a more noticeable nude lip color rather than like a no lips nude color because then it just looks too much so that was my makeup tutorial talk through if you made it through the whole video please give me a big thumbs up i apologize if i skip through a lot but i'm really starting to like take my time with editing as well i want my videos to be better quality i honestly was not really expecting this to turn out really nice while i was doing my makeup i thought this was going to be really bad but i actually love the color i actually love the color i'm kind of regretting putting the yellow on my lower lash line i feel like i should have just done the whole teal but i do like it um this is obviously not the best makeup look i've ever done but i was just trying out these few colors that i hadn't used before so thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go charge my camera empty my sd card basically clean up and tidy up a little bit because apart from going shopping this morning i started filming this video like an hour ago and that's all i've done today so um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.